before I start the tutorial I want to give you some information the motion tracking works for the text as well as for the sticker in the cap cut and it will follow the object or the person or the character which is moving in the video so you can use any of these three things it, it should be moving yeah so the text and the sticker will follow to the moving object or a person so let's get started click on new project to start the new project then select the video in which you want to add a motion tracking for the text or the st sticker in my case this is a airport scene where the lady is entering the airport then she is talking and at the end she is leaving the scene okay so i will move the timeline uh, to the position where the character is appearing and then click on the text to add the text there are different options there are already pre-made templates or if the there is an audio somebody is speaking then auto caption will create the subtitle for it sticker and then add text i'm going to show only the text tracking so click on add text write anything you want i am just going to write me for the character currently the text is added only for the three seconds but as my character is till the end of the video I, and i want the text to follow the character till the end of the video i will increase the timeline of the text and place it over the head of the character because that is the position i want my text to be over the head of the character you can place it uh, anywhere and then that will be the relative position to the person or to the object which is moving and which you want to track let's change the style of the character below there is option style click on that uh, font i'm just going to keep this same or the default one and i'm going to select the style where the background is black the text is white click on ok and while the text is selected again you should see on the right hand side option which is called tracking so click on that as soon as you click you see a yellow colored circle with yellow dot at the center and there are two arrows at the top and on the right hand side so this arrow just control the size of that tracker and the dot means that that is the center of that circle I have tried uh, the big size of this tracker like this the the size of the, the let's say the person yeah so I was doing that but it didn't give me very good results so you need to do some uh, trial and errors to find the sweet spot of the object uh, where it should follow uh, and then the size also you need to do some trial and errors and I have already found it so here in this video particularly the text follows properly the character if the size is matching the face of the character and if i place this tracker over the face of the character so i just i will just make sure that uh, the size of this tracker is more or less same as the size of the face and just i will put it over the face at the bottom there are two options reset and start tracking so start tracking what it does it does the calculation frame by frame where the, the this face position is in each frame and then maybe it uh, reads the pixel values and then according to that it tells the text hey you need to be here now so let's click on the start tracking and you can see uh, uh, when the loading or this process is happening you can see in the background that the text is moving along with the character so that's it for the tutorial we will see the preview yeah how it looks uh, in the final once it's done it's processing in the background so you can see the text is automatically following the character obviously you can use the keyframes and then each frame you have to like move the text uh, but this is like some automated process and then after that you just need to click on this arrow button to export the video so thank you guys for watching this video if you really liked it then subscribe to my channel because i also make the tutorials for a light motion app and in the future i'm going to do more tutorials on capcut also or you can write in the comment section which types of tutorials you would like to see thanks a lot and stay safe and stay healthy